Street beggars and urchins have for some time constituted nuisance and eyesore to Lagosians, but the state government is moving again to make this a thing of the past. At a joint news conference in Alausa, the government made it clear that this practice is a threat to the state security and will no longer be condoned. The news conference was hosted by the Ministry of Youth and Social Development and the Ministry of Information. Plus TV Africa Lagos State House correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedoku reports. It is a social vice that we cannot afford to watch attain uncontrollable level. To say that street begging has reached an alarming proportion in Lagos State would just be stating the obvious. But this press conference is to address this menace once and for all. Hosts are the Ministry of Youth and Social Development and the Ministry of Information. The beggars are everywhere in Lagos, on the streets, under the bridges, on major roads, in shanties and even in the traffic. They come in different faces, colors, calibers, ages, genders and some with little children. Some of them even pretend to be sick to appeal to public emotion from passers-by who eventually part with their hard-earned money. But the Lagos state government says this trend has to stop and has vowed to eradicate street begging by raw means. As a government, we cannot afford to let this continue. Thus, a special team has been set up to tackle this menace frontally. The operation of this special team will commence in the next few days. The state government feels that this is dehumanizing. This is not uh, good for our future, and it's not going to help anybody. And it's uh, trying to stop it. The commissioner laments that begging and hawking have become instruments of insecurity in the state. They are big business to some. This has become big business to some groups of people. Our investigation revealed that beggars and hawkers, children and adults, are transported regularly from other parts of the country to Lagos with the sole aim of doing this odious business. The state police command is also partnering the state government to reinforce the legal aspect of the development. We have so many times arrested people still on wheelchair with danger weapons hidden there, arms. Ammunition, cutlasses. Hopefully, this move by the Lagos state government will truly rid the state of street beggars and hawkers and not end like previous attempts. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedoku, reporting for Plus TV Africa News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.